Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Once again, you are welcome into the presence of Sunday. I want us to lift up our voices and begin to exalt the name of the Lord. Thank Him because He has seen you through this month of June to the last Sunday of this month. Shall we open our mouth and say, Lord, we thank you for seeing me through this month of June. Glory be to your holy name. Blessed be your name, O Lord, for your faithfulness, for your care, for your love, for your preservation, for your grace, O Lord. Blessed be your name. The Bible says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18, in everything we should give them. We give thanks. In a pleasant situation, give them. Glory be to In our pleasant situation, give them. Father, we thank you. Let's give him all the glory. We worship you. We worship you. We exalt you. Almighty God, we give you thanks. We bless your name this very day. Thank you. We are worthy of our praise. Thank you, Jesus. We are worthy of our adoration. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for our family. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for our children. Thank you. Thank you for the church of God. Glory to God. The church is marching on. Thank you, Lord. And the gates of hell cannot prevail. Glory to God. Glory be to your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. This is a new week. The Bible says. Day to day authorized speech. And night to night show it knowledge. Yes. According to Psalm 19, yes. verse 2. We want to pray yes. that Lord, every day of this week, every day of this week let good speech be uttered concerning me. Let good things be uttered concerning me. Let good things be uttered be concerning me. Let good things be uttered concerning me. In the name of Jesus. Let there be utterances of good things concerning my family. In the mighty name of Jesus. Please go ahead and begin to pray. This is another new week. Let good things be uttered concerning my family. Let the utterances of good things be uttered concerning my children. Let the utterance of good things be uttered because of my wife, my, 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 my family. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let good things be uttered concerning the church of the living God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We pray for this week. That every day of God, let that be a testimony for me. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Every day of this week, oh God, let me have a testimony to share. Let my family have a testimony to share. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every day of this week, oh God, let me have good things to share. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, God. In Jesus' living name, we are praying. Amen. We are going to still pray this very day. That everything that will hinder us of receiving from the Lord this morning, the Lord will take it away. Say, Father, Father take, away take away everything that will hinder me of receiving from you. Go ahead and begin to pray. Take away everything that will hinder me of receiving from you this morning. Almighty God, I pray that you will remove from my life, remove from my way, everything that will hinder you, O oh God, of reaching out to me in the mighty name of Jesus. Take it away, O oh Lord. In Jesus' loving name, we are praying. Amen. I want us to pray concerning all the ministers, yes. those who God has prepared already, yes. to release the blessings of God unto us. Yes. Beloved, I want us to pray that the Lord Almighty we equip them for today's ministration. Shall we open our mouth and pray? Lord, equip your servants with your grace. Equip your servants with your power. Equip your servants with your anointing to deliver your message today. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, equip your servants. Oh Lord, equip your minister. In the mighty name of Jesus. Equip them, oh Lord, to minister life to us today. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' living name, we are praying. Amen. We are going to pray for all those who are connecting, who have been connected yes. to this program this morning. Yes. We want to pray that in every home, in every 
Where this program is held, let there be a testimony. Open your mouth and pray. Let there be a testimony. Testimony of salvation. Testimony of healings. Testimony of God's divine intervention. Testimony of direction, divine direction. Let there be a testimony Lord, in the life of everyone that is watching right now. Let there be a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' powerful name, we are praying. Amen. If you believe that the Lord has answered your prayer, begin to appreciate it. Begin to appreciate it. Begin to appreciate it. Father, we thank you. We appreciate you because you have answered our prayer. Glory be to your holy name. Adoration be to your name. In Jesus' gracious name, we have given thanks. Amen. Beloved, put your hands together as we honor Jesus in the life of our sister. Put those hands together. The Lord is good. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's be in the mood of worship. Let us magnify God. Let's thank him for making us to see the last Sunday in the month of June. Lord, we exalt you. We lift your name on high. Let's magnify God. Lord, we exalt you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, we exalt you. Daily as I live, as I breathe, let my own life be an expression of your grace. Daily as I live, as often as I breathe, let my whole life be an expression of your grace. We cry about fire. 
worship in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. It's time for the church anthem 2020, my year of rising sun. One, two, go. It's my year of rising sun.
to, to join me in appreciating God in the life of our daddy where we invite him to the pulpit. Let's appreciate God in his life. Praise the God of heavens and the earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout a living hallelujah to the Prince of Life. Hallelujah. For seeing the glory and the beauty and the majesty of a new month that is coming to an end. Let us say a living hallelujah to the Lord. Hallelujah. When we entered into the month of June, it was like, will he ever be? For the Lord Almighty made you to cross over. And by the name of the Lord, when we come into the beginning of a new month, next month, you are going to be alive and kicking. Are you saying amen to that effect? Amen. amen. God is on your side. Can you say that directly to yourself? God, God is, is on my side. side. And if the Lord be for me, nothing will be against me. So we're going to sing together because the Lord is on your side, the Lord is on my side, and he's going to do us good. Singing is the primary assignment when we come to immortal life. So we begin from this terrestrial plane, singing the praise of the Lord. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You are God. that away from you. Whoever copies that away from you is just a second best. And because you are created in the original picture of the almighty God, you remain a relevant person before the king of angels. I saw the Lord. I saw unto God who held the chemistry of your body together the atom of your body is not disorganized look at how many errors that have been committed about your life without you knowing and yet we are still out and kicking can you give him a deliberate thanksgiving to say God I thank you I give you praise Linking me up along with the living ones. I praise you deliberately. 
Can we express our thanks and our praises unto the Lord? God is good, a worthy God of all ages. Father, we thank you. Glory to God. In Jesus' decent name, we have prayed. Amen. You're going to pray where you are. You're going to speak to the Lord that your sacrifice will be acceptable to God at all times. Amen. That the Lord will make your sacrifice to be acceptable to him. How many times? Time. Can you open your mouth and pray for your family also? That every time I make my sacrifice unto you, Lord, let it be acceptable unto you at all times. Let there be no time when my sacrifice to you will be rejected. Lord, give me an opportunity. Favor will make all things to work and to be acceptable. Favor my access unto you. Help me, Heavenly Father. Glory be to the name of our God. In Jesus' special name, we have prayed. Amen. You are going to pray that the bond of mercy will be around your story. Amen. That where other people are harvesting disaster, mercy will exempt you from disaster. Amen. Can you open your mouth and pray the name of Jesus? That the Lord Almighty we will, will surround your life, yes, with mercy. That where other people are, are, are harvesting disaster, that will not be my portion. Can you open your mouth in the name of Jesus? I will not harvest disaster. My family will not harvest disaster. Let mercy exempt me from disaster. Yes. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Lord, ask that, Lord, that the hand of the Lord will lead you to the place of glory. Let the hand of the mighty God lead me to the place of glory, the hand of mercy, to lead my family, to lead my ministry, to lead my business to the place of glory. Will you open your mouth and pray that you will not be wandering around? In the name of Jesus Christ, lead me to the place of glory, lead me to the place of honor, lead me to the place of dignity. I don't want to be a wanderer. There are so many people wandering on the platform of life, not knowing where to be, like prodigal son of parable. In the name of Jesus, please lead me to the place of honor and dignity by the power of your eternal intervention. Thank you, Father. Glory be to the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Don't forget, you must need to participate in this line of prayer. You are going to pray against the power that has colonized your generation. Forcing you to pay as a revenge to what has been done in your generation. That in the name of Jesus, that the Lord will break their power over your life. In the name of Jesus, every power that has colonized my generation, forcing me to pay as a revenge for what we have done in my generation, the Lord rebuke you. Shall we pray in the name of Jesus? Can we open our mouth? In the name of Jesus Christ. Power that has colonized my generation, forcing me to pay as a revenge for what they have done. Lord, deliver me from them. Will you open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus? There are colonization that goes on in the realm of the spirit. Whatever power that has colonized my generation and forcing me to pay as a revenge for what they have done in my generation, the Lord deliver me from them. The Lord deliver my family from them. Can you open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus? Whatever colonization that has taken place, I am not to be colonized. My children are not to be colonized. In the name of Jesus Christ, yes, in Jesus' name we pray. Now turn that prayer this other way.
that the battle that my parent has not been able to win, and they are trying to rise up to, 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 to oppress my life, I overcome you today. Can you open your mouth and pray? Every battle that my parents are not been able to overcome, and they are gathering and coming up upon my life, I overcome you today. I overcome you finally. In the name of Jesus Christ, all the battle that my parents cannot overcome in their marital life, Lord, I overcome them. In the name of Jesus, battle that confronted them financially, and they have not been able to overcome, and they are warming up to overcome and attack my life. You are a liar. I overcome you in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory be to the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. You will speak to the Lord that your eyes will be open to blessing. Your eyes will be open to glory. Your eyes will be open to benefactors. You will not be losing your helper before you come to know. Can you open your mouth and pray? You will you. Can you open your mouth and pray that in the name of Jesus, that your eyes will be open to benefactors. Your eyes will be open spiritually. The power of eternal majesty will help you and help me. Glory be to the name of the Lord. The Lord will do it. Thank you, Father. Glory be to God. In Jesus' name. We have prayed. Amen. Are we saying a living amen to that? Amen. You will sing this song along with me. Your own will be, will soon be over. Will soon be over. I will sing it first and then you follow me. All over this world. All over this world. Hallelujah. All over this world. All over this world Tribulation time will soon be, be over Poverty time will we'll soon be over By the word of God will we'll soon be over All over this world Come on, come on All over this world All over this world All over this world All over this world Tribulation time will soon be over. Suffering time will soon be over. By the word of God, we live forever. All over this world, everybody. All over this world, all over this world, all over this world, all over this world. Almighty God, we thank you. You are the solid coordinator of the entire universe. We praise you for allowing the blood of Jesus to make a difference in our life and worship. We are here today. I pray that, Lord, the door of heaven will be open. You will satisfy our inward man with the word of truth and righteousness. And in the name of Jesus Christ, you will terminate poverty time in our story. Amen. Can I hear a deliberate amen to that effect? Amen. You will terminate sickness time from our story amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. By the word of God that lives forever, I pray that the light will shine across our mind amen. and we will not walk in darkness again. Amen. Remove the veil from our mind amen. and make us to see very clearly. Amen. Thank you for having answered. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' helpful name, we have prayed. Amen. And amen. amen. So I welcome everyone to this table communion of the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord bless everyone, either far or near. In whatever capacity you have come to link up with this all-important program, the Lord Almighty will visit you and no regret of any kind will be found in the garden of your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.
this very day is a very interesting day because the Lord is to talk to us in a very plain speech. And the title will be, See the Answer. Do what? See the answer. I hereby declare today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that your eyes will be open Amen. to see the answer to the question hanging around your personal life. Amen. Questions that are hanging around your family life. Amen. Questions that are hanging around the nation. Amen. Questions that are hanging around the Christian door. Amen. I pray that eternal illumination will reach out to all and sundry. Amen. And you will see the answer. You will possess the answer. Amen. And answer life will give you joy in Jesus' name. Amen. What is happening all over the world? A lot of time they are like a very big massive gigantic question what is happening in families of people are very big questions that are loitering and there are questions in scholastic operations and economic operation in political questions political operations too many questions are there but the lord is saying unto you my people one thing i advise you to do is to see the what? The, the answer. answer. May you see the answer. Amen. You will never die in question. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now let me read from the book of Daniel. Daniel chapter 12. From verse 1 through to verse 4. Don't forget the title. See the answer. Because if all your life you are deliberating about questions, you are analyzing the questions, you are multiplying questions, you are, you are, you are, you are building houses and, and uh, uh, all manner of things around questions, that life will be hanging in the balance. But today, God is saying, His answer I meant for you, don't remain perpetually in staying in the island of questions. It says, in an easy to be understood language, Michael, the chief of the angels, is the protector of your people. And he will come at a time of terrible suffering, the worst in all of history. And your people who have their names written in the book will be protected. In verse 2, he says, Many of those who lie dead in the ground will rise from the dead. Some of them will be given eternal life. And others will receive nothing but eternal shame and disgrace. I pray mighty God of heaven, he will exempt you from harvesting shame and disgrace in Jesus' name. Amen. He says in verse 3, everyone who has been wise will shine. It's not cunningness and craftiness and manipulative serpentine movement. But those who are wise, the wisdom that comes from God is, number one, pure. And um, is um, godly and goodly. It says, those who are wise will shine as bright as the sky above. And everyone who has led others to please God will shine forever like the stars. I pray for in the name of the Lord, you will shine forever. Say amen to that effect. Daniel, I now command you to keep the message of this book secret until the end of times. Even though many people will go everywhere searching for the knowledge 
to be found in it. Don't forget the topic again. See the answer. The very big thing here is what is the question. Before you see the answer, you must know what the question is. These are isolating times when people have been isolated, distancing, social distancing. But one very bad thing that can happen is for you to be spiritually distant. When you are distant away from God, that is not correct. And so, it's dangerous to be isolated from God, to be distant from God. For instance, 40 international airline was reported to have been granted, along with their international policies. The world is in its worst recession. Over time and situations, things are bad, but we are not focusing upon the question of others. Far in the world, the Bible has said it that it will happen. Now, over the times, because this is the church of Jesus Christ, the church has been plagued with what I call misinformation. Others are having mixed information. Others are disinformed. Some have little information about the operation of God's kingdom among men. They can't get the full picture. That's why you need to push them to serve God. That's why it is difficult for them to obey God. Even when it is written and it is very clear. Too many people will say, I choose what I want. And so many times we are distracted. But this time around, we need to unlearn the misinformations. We need to discern the mixed information spiritual that we have received over time. We need to retrain our minds and relearn the truth in clear terms. I pray in the name of Jesus, the question of misunderstanding, satanic amalgamation, evil mix-up that has entered into the church of Jesus Christ and we are producing a frame Christianity overdone in one area and oil is not touching the other side. God will deliver us. The word of the Lord to you and myself today is, see the answer. Understand this quickly. Jesus cried three times in the New Testament scriptures. How many times did Jesus cry? Three times. The first one is in John 11, 35, at Lazarus' grave. The second one is in John chapter 15, verse 34. On the cross, Jesus cried. Another one is in Matthew chapter 23. From verse 36 to verse 39. He cried over Jerusalem for only one reason. All these three times that Jesus cried, he cried for just one reason. And what was the reason? That people can't see the answer. Even though Jesus was present with them. Even though the answer to their solution is there. Like Yoruba people will always say, Ntan wala si shokoto, owa lo shokoto. Meaning that what you are stretching yourself to catch in distance far away is very near. And because they cannot see, that's why they have to take a long walk into a fulfillment. May your life be evergreen. May your fulfillment be ever achieving. Amen. Say a life amen to that. Amen. You are called to see the answer. You will see your answer. Can you say that to yourself? I will see my answer. I will see my answer in the name of Jesus Christ. Millions of Christians are visually impaired on spiritual matters. They are only defending their blindness, you know, a blind person, blind clock will be correct only two times in a day. One in the night, another one in the day. If it's 12 o'clock 
and you go and check a dead clock, you will find it correct. But one minute after that, it will be incorrect. I pray whatever is making your Christianity ne never to be correct. Almighty God will remove it away today. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You must not be visually impaired. We are not talking about natural, physical um, um, limitation. We are talking about inability to perceive. To see from the realm of God. Don't forget. You eat your food to take the care of your physical body. And you go to school, go for seminars and trainings. So that your intellectual realm may be um, also fed. So you can be relevant in the intellectual society. But that is not answering for your spiritual life. When you take your spiritual meal, then your spiritual life is activated, is powerful, is fulfilling. That was why Jesus says, a man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed out of the mouth of the word of the Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus as many who are spiritually blind. By the time we be done this morning, your eyes will be opened. Your fulfillment will come. Can I hear a loud amen to that? Amen. My word which is not really mine, which is the word of he who has sent me, says, see the answer. It is a call to recognition. It is a call to perceive the way out. It's a call that you cannot, you should not die inside complaint. And the Lord is saying, see the answer. From the Bible passage I've read, there has been a question that with over time, life of people will be like a dry leaf, running to and fro, looking for answer to the question of life. Exactly, that's what is happening. But he says there are some people, privileged people whose name are written in the book of life. He says, those people, they will be exempted. They will shine as light because they are clean and they will start shine as the stars of heaven. Now, those who are not visually impaired, spiritually, they should be observant. They should take note. They should recognize the answer when they see the answer. I'm sure you have read from Acts or Apostles chapter 12 before. In Acts chapter 12, there was a story there when Apostle Peter was um, imprisoned. And um, in his imprisonment, the church of God knew that there was nothing they could do. They had no political connection to free him, no financial power to influence things. And there was no way they can come up to be able to force him out. They resulted into prayers. They believed in the prayer because Jesus taught them right. And they believed right. And they kept praying. And God answered their prayers. When God answered the prayer, the very first thing that God did was that he started from the subject of their prayer. Apostle Peter. Without telling those who are praying, Angel of God visited him in the prison. Whether in the Kirikiri or wherever the prison was located. Those people are still praying. And he released Peter, broke the chain, opened the gate, brought him out. And that one went to the place where the apostles were praying. Apostles of Christ, they know how to pray aggressively. But only one girl rode up. In verse 13 through to verse 15, saw the answer because he knew Peter's voice. He knew the voice of Peter. When the one whose eyes was open, because he, she knew that this was Peter's voice, came and spoke to people who are addicted prayer warriors. They turn into curses again. They say, you are mad. How can it be Peter? Peter is in Kirikiri. We know things are not working. We are only praying because we know God must be informed. And Rhoda said, you are praying you don't see you. Me, I see. Because the sound I'm hearing is the sound of answer. 
May you hear the sound of answer. Amen. Over your children, over your ministry, over your business, Amen. may you see the sign of an answer. Amen. He said, we see not our signs. May you see your sign. Amen. The sign of worshiping God truthfully. May it show up in your work. Amen. May it show up in your neighborhood. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Don't be like the apostles who know how to pray, but they don't know how to watch. Don't be like the apostles who know how to preach, but when the answer came, they cannot see the answer. May you see your answer. Amen. In Luke's gospel, that one is a very, that one, very, very funny story. Come with me. Luke's gospel, chapter 24. In Luke, chapter 24. Now, from verse, um, from verse 13. Now, there's a very interesting there. On, it was on the way to Emmaus. Two people were discussing current affairs with non-current mindset. They were discussing current issues with the mind that is not current. It was a current matter. And the summation of the current matter they were discussing was the condemnation of Christ from condemnation to crucifixion, from crucifixion to death of a man who has resurrected and stood walking and talking with them. They could not get it. Look at it, verse 13. And behold, two of them went that same day to a village called Emmaus which was from Jerusalem, about six miles, I mean 60 miles, and they talked together all of all these things which had happened, current affairs. And it came to pass that while they commute together, while they were having intellectual intercourse, while they were discussing to be able to analyze and paralyze unknowingly to them, and reason. People of philosophic um, approach, Jesus himself drew near and went with them. You know, some people today, their charisma is only on intellectual prowess alone. They cannot see when the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords mingle with the situation to turn the tide and to bring the story to a happy, happy ending. Jesus himself, the subject predicate of their discussion, drew near and went with them. They were intellectually enlightened, but spiritually blinded. But their eyes were holding, can you see that? That they should not know him. And he said unto them, what manner of communication are these? That ye have one to another as you are walking. And you are sad. Analysis paralysis. And the one of them, whose name was Cleophas, answering, said unto him, Are you only a stranger in Jerusalem? Are you not current in the current affairs? As not known the things which are come to pass in the newspaper? Have you not seen the trend of events in these days? And he said unto them, What things? <laughs> Can you see that? A spiritually minded person will always be at a, at a parallel line with those who are only walking by intellectual prowess alone. So, intellect is good, but also respect that there's another dimension that is the realm of the spirit. And they said unto him, Concerning Jesus of Nazareth, which was a prophet, mighty indeed, and what before God and all the people, and our chief priests and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death. You see that? And have crucified him. But we trusted that it has been he which should have redeemed Israel. And beside all this, today is the third day. Yes. And certain women also of our company made us surprised, which were early at the graveyard. And when they found not his body, they came saying that they had also seen a vision of angels, which said that he was alive. 
they said he was alive. And certain of them which were with us went to the sepulchre and find it even so as the women had said. But him they didn't see. Can you see that? They were sincerely half blind. And they were discussing current affair without getting the picture on a clearer level. Now, understand this. When you have that mind there in your mind, come with me to 2 Corinthians chapter 4. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, and then from verse 5. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, from verse 5. For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord, and ourselves, your servant for Jesus' sake. For God, who commanded the light to shine in darkness, has shined in our heart. We are, there are some people glowing in their heart. I pray that you will be among those who are glowing in their heart. To be the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in hidden verses that the excellency of power may be of God and not of us. For we are troubled on every side. Yet, yeah, not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Can you see that? All we are saying here is that God Almighty will be an answer unto your prayers. When you read and you understand that despite all pressure, despite all distraction, almightiness of God will still hold you together. You will not fall among the people that is um, that that are falling Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We read this word of the Lord so that we can be able to attain to the light of the word of God. When we attain to the light of the word of God, the story is clear. What are we saying in effect from here? Up till today, the word of the Lord is still not clear. To a lot of people, the mind of people are still not correct. When it comes to understanding the workability of God over in an um, episode. But the Lord is saying, I will deliver my people. And um, let me read also from, um, sorry, from verse um, 15. Second Corinthians chapter 3 from verse 15. Second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 15. But even unto this day, when Moses is read, the veil is upon their heart. Nevertheless, when he shall turn to the Lord, the veil shall be taken away. Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. But we all with open face behold it as in a glass. The glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory. Even as by the Spirit of the Lord, will you say you understand that the word of the Lord should be form an image in your heart? You are not just reading, but you are reading to fulfill God's assignment to picture whatever Jesus is saying. Get him right, get him direct, and everything will be good on your story and in my story in Jesus' name. Amen. One clever question is, what was responsible for not seeing God and understanding God in the true light of the world? What exactly may be wrong in Luke chapter 24 from verse 25? Luke 24 from verse 25. It says, then Jesus asked the two disciples, Why can't you understand? How can you be so slow to believe all the prophets? All the prophets have said, Didn't you know that the Messiah would have to suffer before he was given his glory? Will you not know? I pray in the name of Jesus. That ignorance will never rob us of God's presence. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Chapter 24 from verse 45. 
It says, then, because we all need this, he opened their understanding. He did what? He opened their, made the understanding of all of us be open on spiritual matters. Amen. We all need God's intervention. He, when he opens our understanding, the story becomes easier. Have you not read in Psalm 34 verse 5? He said, keep your eyes on the Lord. You will shine like the sun and never blush with shame. Keep your eyes on who? On the Lord. You will shine. Meaning that, regardless of what, be sure you keep your eyes on the Lord. Have you not read in Acts chapter 9? When Saul kept on threatening to kill the lost followers, he even went to the high priest and asked for letters to the leaders of the synagogue in Damascus. He did this because he wanted to arrest and take to Jerusalem any man or woman who had accepted the Lord's way. My brother, be sure you accept the Lord's way of doing things. When Saul had almost reached Damascus, a bright light from heaven suddenly flushed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice saying, Saul, Saul, why are you so cruel to me? Why are you so cruel to me? And then in verse 5 he says, Who are you? Saul asked, I am Jesus, the Lord. The Lord answered, I am the one you are so cruel to. Now get up and go to the city where you'll be told what to do. A lot of people are cruel to God today. They didn't know it was in ignorance. I pray in the name of Jesus, blindness will be removed away from your story. Amen. Blindness will be removed away from your religious worship. Amen. Saul was cruel unto God because he was blinded. As many who are inwardly blinded, I pray the Lord Almighty will remove that thing. Amen. See the answer. Falling of Saul was an answer to the prayer of the saints. See the answer. Turning around in the world is a solution to some people. See the answer. Even though you are seated at home, worshipping the Lord, it is still an answer to something. If you look at it very closely, God is still good in your story. Therefore, today, you will need to pray to the Lord that the Lord will help you to understand. Lord, help me to understand. What is happening in my life? Help me. It is very important. And apart from that, if you don't understand how God works, you may be discussing and you miss out God in the story. Servant of Elisha, he was disturbed. But when his eyes was opened, he was bold to declare that God is in all this. So today you are going to pray to the Lord, intervene in my story. Blindness must not fight me anymore. I must see answer to every question around me. I must enjoy the beauty of the answer. Apostles of Christ who are praying, they cannot see the answer. I will see answer in my scholastic pursuit. I will see answer in my family life. I will see answer in my neighborhood. Are you opening your mouth? Are you praying in the name of Jesus? I will understand the signs. Sign of an answered prayer. In my labor in life, I will understand. Are you praying that the hands of the Lord will be upon you? That blindness will be removed away from you? Blindness will be removed away from your children? Blindness will be removed away from your husband? Blindness will be removed away from your wife? Blindness away from the people that matter in your life? Can you pray that the Lord will remove blindness away? Oh Lord will never die in the question. We will reach answers. Jesus is the answer. To the world today is the answer. When you don't understand the questions of life, go back to the Lord. Set your eyes upon the Lord. There will be no disgrace over your life. Can you pray that the Lord will remove disgrace away from your life? Help me.
me to remove this grace. So long that somebody is in the question, there is fear, there is a, a pandemonium, there is epidemic of evil reactions. But when you see the answer, no matter whatever any situation brings, you know your father owns both ends of the river. Will you pray to the Lord? Lord, I will no longer walk in darkness. I will no longer be blind spiritually. Open my eyes, O oh God. Open my understanding, O oh God. Help me to look in your direction. Help me to do your work. Help me to accept the Lord's way. The ways of the Lord may not be popular, but the Lord will back up his own people. You are going to pray that the Lord will answer your prayer. He will show you signs that he has answered. Are you praying? Lord, show me the sign. Make me to see. Many times God has been showing us the answer, but we have not been able to see. Lord, open our eyes. As individuals, as a family, as a, as a business, or uh, operators, open our eyes. We are not going to die along with the others. We are not going to be confused along with others. Make us to remain solid in your kingdom. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Father, we worship you. It is well with my people. It is well with those who listen to this. The spirit of the living God enters into all. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus, the deliberate name we have prayed. Amen. I will pray now that your eyes will be open. Amen. You will see the Lord. Amen. You will not burn your energy on non issues. Amen. Are you ready now? Yes. We are going to lift up our two hands up to heaven. Heavenly Father, I pray for all that are under the sound of this voice, the glow of God comes upon you. Amen. Whatever it is that has been closing your eyes or blocking you from seeing the answer, let them be wiped out by the blood of Jesus. Amen. Your internal eyes will be open. Amen. You will see the answer. Amen. You will enjoy the answer. Amen. You will reign in the answer. Amen. Your life will not be stopped in questions. Amen. Those who are barraging your life with questions, they will discover you have the answer. Amen. To the glory of God the Father. Amen. May the answer of God visit your home. Amen. To the glory of God the Son. Amen. May the answer of love visit your business. Amen. To the glory of the Holy Spirit. May the answer of love visit this nation. Amen. All manner of rubbish, all manner of manipulations, all manner of set down and wash down coming upon this nation. Almighty God rose them away. Amen. Let Jesus reign Amen. in all dimension of this nation. Amen. Every minister of the gospel receive the power of God Amen. to survive at this troubling time. Amen. You will hold the answer. Amen. Answers in your life will affect millions of people. Amen. And the kingdom of God will crash without a remedy. Amen. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Amen. As you go out this week, you will meet answer. Amen. You will see answer. Amen. You will reign in answer. Amen. You will sing in answer. Amen. You will be celebrated. Amen. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Amen. Those who are sick, receive the healing of the Lord. Amen. In your mind, Amen. in your soul, Amen. in your spirit, Amen. and in your bodies, Amen. in your home. Amen. Answers are here. Amen. Jesus is the answer. Amen. Now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you, faithful God. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus Solid name, we have prayed. Amen. And amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is well with you. It's well with the member of your family in Jesus' name. Amen. Good to have you around. Hope to see you again on Wednesday. Please be sure you meet with us between 7 and 8 o'clock in the morning on Wednesday. Do your homework. Reading from the book of Hebrews. According to our Bible study on Friday from Hebrew chapter 1 to the very last chapter. God bless you. And find out the questions. It is well with you. Love you all. Jesus love you more. In Jesus name. Amen, amen and amen. amen. Shall we share the grace in fellowship? The grace, the grace of, our of our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ the, the love of God, God. And the fellowship, fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with, with us now and forevermore. Amen. amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise God.